This is wildlife, <clears throat> wildlife biologist Eric Orff with my New Hampshire Fish and Wildlife YouTube channel and today's Nature Notes. I haven't done a Nature Notes in a while. Oh, what am I doing? <clears throat> well, I'm actually out on my front deck here where I actually spend quite a few hours sitting out here. Uh, there's the road out in front of my house. I call it road and not street. It certainly isn't. But there are the cars that go by. This happens to be a, a dead end road, so all the cars that go down have to come out. <coughs> Neighbor across the way, but right here is a whole line of oak trees. There's a white oak there and three or four red oaks. So there's always a lot, a lot happening out here if you choose to sit out. And well, over that way, maybe I'll just move my camera a little bit. Well, past my garage, out there is the, the neighbor's field, which I enjoy watching. Out there, all sorts of deer and woodchucks and turkeys and occasional bear and moose. Uh, just a lot of things are visible from your yard. You just have to get outside and enjoy them. Yes, you can go on a hike up some mountain with lots of people. Or sometimes just spend some time home, outside, doing yard work or gardening, and enjoying your home. So what's happened here? Well, last Thursday, last Thursday, I headed up to my camp in Maine for four days. I went up Thursday and came back on a Sunday, and what the heck happened while I was gone? This is a mystery. When I left on last week, well, a week from today, Thursday morning, whatever that was, what it was, the, the, the so fourth was a Saturday, third was a Friday, so the second. So I left July second to go up there. <clears throat> so July first, which was a Wednesday, then I was probably out here for some length of time as I am most days observing and having a cold ice ice water or something but I can tell you in the time that I've been standing here a week ago there would have been a half a dozen chipmunks across my driver right there so there's a stone wall that runs the full length of the front of my home here years and years ago I planted lilacs along that side and when I was chasing bear up north one day I pulled up a bunch of cedars they were no more than a foot high just pulled them out of the ground threw them in my truck brought them home and planted them there and now I have these cedars that have insulated my house from the road for decades now <laughs> uh, good move on my part all right back to the chipmunks so a week ago there was a steady parade of chipmunks streaming from the stone wall on the left side of my driveway to the stone wall on the right back and forth all day long, all evening long. They're gone. Where did the chipmunks go? I don't hear one. Uh, there's been one or two out here. Where did the chipmunks go? This has been the year of the chipmunks. Out back, same thing. I can see dozens, well, probably, numbers, certainly more than 10, probably more than a dozen. So, a lot of chipmunks a week ago, and they're gone. What happened to the chipmunks? This is bizarre. Something has happened to the chipmunks. I don't know what. Is there another food source? You know, I don't even see them on the neighbor's lawn over there. Something is very strange. There's been one or two, like there usually is, but not the five or six or ten that had been the case all spring and summer long. Now, the blackberries ripened off this last week around the house here, and I have a few, not many. The catbird has been into them pretty steady, so the catbird has been enjoying the blackberries, beating me to them, by the way. But, and had the chipmunks eaten some of the flowers here as well, that has stopped. So, in the last week, the chipmunks have disappeared. Is there another food source? Do they migrate like the squirrels did what, two, two summers ago? Anyway, something is bizarre with the chipmunks. Has the same thing happened at your house? Give me a comment. Let me know. So uh, 
Is this just a my phenomenon here in Epsom, central New Hampshire, or is it something going on statewide? You know, back when I was uh, the fur bearer biologist for New Hampshire Fishing Game for three decades, you would, uh, you know, things didn't happen in a little microscopic thing or even a state level. When Fisher declined in uh, mid 80s, it just didn't happen in New Hampshire. Maine's Fisher population declined, Vermont's declined, New York's declined, and I think Minnesota's declined. So uh, these things don't happen always in a localized situation, although things like distemper and some of the rabies could be localized more so. But a lot of times things happen across a wide swath of this country for some unknown reason, but they do. So is the chipmunk disappearing, disappearance uh, Epsom thing? Is it a central New Hampshire thing? Is it a statewide thing? I don't know. If you have a sense that you still have chipmunks or they've disappeared, that'd be cool to know. Don't forget to hit the like button, by the way, and subscribe if you can. I'd appreciate that. So uh, what else has happened? Well, you just heard it. The wren, the wren is still calling. The wren... Uh, Nested actually brought off a family in that birdhouse right over there. Put my glasses back on. I'll even zoom into it here somehow. Over there in the magnolia tree is a birdhouse that we had a family of wrens brought off. And then, okay, nice and slow, over in this wren house here, let's see. You know, if I was good at editing, I could be better at this, but you know what? I'm not. <laughs> uh, someday I may learn that, or I may not. I don't know. You know, I enjoy doing what I do. So, somewhere over there is another rent house. Right there, I guess. And in that rent house, in that rent house, while I was gone to Maine, uh, a wren put a lot more sticks in. So I was thinking they fledged there, and I guess he's, he had a few sticks in there, but he's added two. So there's a lot of sticks in that one. So, and he's still calling away. So, you know, they normally have a couple of broods a year, occasionally, but rarely three. Oh, so, yes. The wren is still here, still calling. What is missing, though, this year, see if I can see it from here. Oh, I can't. i got to move my camera. Let me do that. Oh, so here, the road, all my lilacs, the field, and up here is the bat house. I've had this bat house for more than 30 years. My father actually built that for me in the early 90s. And for 25 years, nary a bat. Never had a bat. And about five years ago, all of a sudden, in mid-June, bats showed up. And I would count them out at dusk, or, and they would be in the vicinity of 30 or so. And my quiet neighbors over there, nice little cemetery, very peaceful, yeah, been good neighbors over there. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, the bats, uh, bats would come, usually mid-June, something that I, I can't explain, but, you know, about 25 or 35 bats would show up mid-June and stay for about two or three weeks and then leave. Were they bachelor bats? I, you know, I, just nothing that I have figured out so far why I would get bats in mid-June for two or three or four weeks and then they would all leave. But I did for a number of years. So, uh, But this year, not a bat. Something's different. 2020 is definitely a different year. Yeah, some days are more difficult to get through than others, aren't they? But here we are. It's summertime. <laughs> And it's uh, about 60 degrees, 70 degrees humidity today, like it was yesterday. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> I can be sweating reading the paper in the morning. <laughs> yep. 
it's been good and hot. But the field across the way has turned green again. Remember May and June, we had, were in a drought. Uh, we had uh, almost no rain in May and June, and the farmer chopped his hay over there in early June or mid-June, and the, turn, the field completely turned brown. And as I drove to Conquer, the, the roadsides up through Chichester were all brown. Kind of a late, mid to late August look. And that was in mid-June, or late June. But we've had some rain. I think I measured six tenths a week ago. And then Sunday night, ah, oh, Sunday night, we had an awesome, awesome thunderstorm. It went by just to the west of us. I was sitting with my best friend of 58 years, Rick, <clears throat> down the road. And we sat on his deck and just felt so wonderful to have a thunderstorm like that. And uh, it was really nice. It was good to... Uh, have a chance to do that. So, yeah, summer's here, hot and muggy. I guess it's going to last to early next week. Wildlife is still around. Not many birds. I mean, I hear the occasional call of a robin. Uh, what do I have? What other birds have I had? Well, there's a few around. Uh, I think I've heard a least least flycatcher the last few days. So that's something different. Oh, so anyways, uh, summer's here. Quieting down, hot and muggy, things aren't moving, nor me, but, uh, and the chipmunks, the chipmunks disappeared. Where did they go? What's happened to the chipmunks? Not that I'm missing a horde of chipmunks, trust me, they were eating things here, but they're gone. Thank you, don't forget to hit that like button, thanks.